Did you call bank? I call bank. What's up, Pack Nation? It is Pack here, and we got our first ever gameplay trailer for NBA 2K20. Well, it's called a gameplay trailer, but really it's just different camera angles of gameplay. Not really like 2K camera gameplay, but still. We'll take it, it's something for the moment. I went through the trailer and I found 20 things that I noticed, either some things are brand new, some things that they really didn't fix, or things I didn't expect in this trailer. Before this video starts, be an OG, join the Pag Nation, and subscribe. And also, if you want to win NBA 2K20 for free, I'm giving away 5 copies, either 1 Legend Edition or 4 Regular Editions. If you want to win that, all you have to do is follow me on Instagram and you can win one of those copies. Now, in this trailer, I'm going to dive in deep and tell you the 20 things that I noticed. And I'm going to start at number 20. But before that, I'm going to show you the full trailer from beginning to end. It's only a minute. Just like that, you can see it firsthand without any interruptions because I'm going to be stopping a lot. Let's go. The first thing I noticed already is Kyrie Irving on the Nets with his hair updated. Before he did have that long beard, but he had a very short haircut. Now he has that little mini fro, which I don't know if he's going to keep. He did shave it during the season with the Celtics, so I don't know why they added it here for the Nets. Maybe they think he's going to have it for the rest of the season. I mean, at the end of the day, most players change their hair during the season anyway, so it's not going to matter. But who knows, maybe Kyrie will keep his little mini afro, and that's why they added it there on NBA 2K20 for the Nets, right? Here's the second thing I noticed, right, is that Kawhi's beard is now different. It kind of fades downward rather than having a full beard like he usually did for the past two years. Now it's a little bit faded. I don't remember him having his beard like that, especially for the finals, but I guess maybe when they came for a face scan, that's how he had his beard, and they just accepted it. Also, his cornrows that are always nappy aren't nappy anymore. Now, they did, if you notice that, he usually does have his cornrows nappy. That's why, like, you know, they kind of have it like that in NBA 2K19. But in the NBA Finals, he did clean his stuff up, finally. Here's the third thing, is that Russell Westbrook's hair was also updated. Now, they did show a screenshot of Russell Westbrook earlier, and that's how they were going to have him. But now that they had that official picture with Russell Westbrook in his official Rockets attire, they showed that his hair, right, was different. So 2K decided to update that, which I'm pretty impressed that they updated it that fast. They usually would have updated it during the season or something stupid like that. But no, they updated it immediately and now he has his cornrows, which I'm actually pretty excited about. I'm really surprised they updated that so early. The fourth thing I noticed was the Rockets jerseys. Yes, we saw a screenshot, but here they are officially with James Harden and Russell Westbrook right next to each other in NBA 2K20. Super clean jerseys. I actually like these jerseys a lot. Usually I've been whatever about the Rockets jerseys, but this is the first year I was like, yo, these are actually kind of nice. I can't lie. The fifth thing I noticed is also jerseys. It's the brand new Warriors jerseys officially on NBA 2K20. Now we have seen these jerseys before that were like kind of leaked and they were like graphic images. There weren't actual pictures of a player wearing them. So this is actually like the first look we really get at them with a player wearing it. I know it's a video game, but still we get a pretty nice look. The jerseys are nice. They're not too different, but I do like how they look in NBA 2K20. They're fresh. It's a new start, which is where the Warriors are at this point. They're like in a brand new start of their franchise. The sixth thing is here we have Willie Collinstein in his first look as a warrior, not the most important thing ever but here he is in his warriors attire the seventh thing and this is something you're going to notice throughout the whole trailer is that and i've mentioned this before now in nba 2k20 the eyes move around look at the ball look at the player they move around from nba 2k and before the 
eyes didn't move. They always stayed straight no matter what. Unless it was like an animation, they always stayed straight. It made players look fake, not real, not like genuine players, right? They would just look like robots because their eyes were always stayed straight no matter what. Now, the players are looking up at the player's face, at the ball, they're constantly moving their eyeballs, and that brings like a lot, like I know that's dumb and you're like, whatever, but it actually brings a lot more realism than I think people are realizing. And I really, really like that they added that. That's actually really big in my opinion for NBA 2K20. Now here is Curry's little fake out animation. He's kind of doing a V cut and then goes back and then goes back anyways. I kind of like that. It looks like he's gonna absolutely destroy his ankle, which are already weak, but still, cool animation. I'm actually pretty excited about that. It's gonna be cheesed like crazy in park, but still, it looks cool, and I'm glad they added something new, right? Now, here's another size up. I've never seen this one before in park. Maybe I'm crazy, but it looks like a behind the back sham god, which I don't think I've ever seen in 2K. Maybe, all right, so this one's a baby. I'm sorry. I'm not 100% sure if this is in the game or not. From my understanding, this is not in the game before, and this is a brand new animation. I don't think they would have showed it unless it was brand new anyways, but I could be wrong. The next thing is Aaron Gordon has been updated. Now, Aaron Gordon's always been messed up. His hair, they'll make blonde or they'll, they'll give him like a weird hairline that he didn't have before. Now it looks pretty accurate to how Aaron Gordon or Aaron Gordon looks. And I'm happy they finally updated him. Also in the background, you can barely see that Nikola Vucevic was also updated. I think his hair was given like a fade now, which wasn't there before, but definitely updated for Nikola Vucevic. And they also gave him a beard which he did not have before now looking a little more accurate for Nikola Vucevic. D'Lo has also been updated but just a little bit the hair is a little bit changed the tattoos are cleaner and now you get to see him for the first time in his Warriors gear it's gonna be really interesting to see how they're gonna use D'Lo with the Warriors. The next thing at number 13 is that not everyone is wearing the same thing on the bench everybody always wears the warm-ups on the bench for every 2k ever and for the first time like in real life not everyone's wearing the same thing some players are wearing the warm-up some players are just wearing a shirt some players are wearing shorts because they might be going into the game some players aren't they finally have that fixed and it's accurate now for the first time ever in nba 2k 20. the other thing is now you can fly into the opposing bench and you can kind of like be stuck there for a second I actually think this is going to be pretty annoying. Imagine playing my career. It's game time situation. You dive in for the ball. You get stuck. And then they like hit a game winner because that was your assignment. And then they're going to get bad teammate grade because you were stuck on the bench. And it's going to make me super triggered. But they added something that is realistic to 2K because that does happen. That does happen in the NBA. And now they added it in the NBA 2K20. So I guess that's fine. Another thing I'm noticing is a lot of facial expressions. Here we see Bradley Beal with, with his meme face where he just looks at in the crowd and he like made that like funny smiley face. Now they have that NBA 2K20 and there's a lot of different faces I saw in this trailer that I hadn't seen before. So that's new. Again, it adds more animations, more situations to feel realistic. And I'm glad they added new facial expressions. Here is, I think, a new layup package with Derrick Rose. I don't think I've ever seen that layup attempted in 2K till now. So that's a brand new one. Derrick Rose already has a layup package in 2K. So I guess maybe they're like expanding on it or they're just adding a brand new animation. I'm not sure what they're going to do, but that definitely looks brand new to me. Now y'all thought I was going to miss this one, but the Ninja Turtle headband. Yes, it's been added into 2K. I've always said that there's a lot of things missing from 2K when it comes to accessories, goggles. Not everyone can wear goggles. You need headbands like the thicker ones and you need shorter shorts because some players have short shorts and now also the turtle headbands, the Ninja Turtle headbands. I'm glad they added that into 2K. Also right here, you see Jared Allen has been updated. They actually gave him a correct Afro, not like a weird spiky one. And also you have the Ninja Turtle headband on him. So it looks 100% accurate for him. Here is the weird one. It's a, is that supposed to be Darius Garland? I know that maybe not all the rookies have had their face scans yet, but even then, what we notice here is that the creative player design making is the exact same as 2K19. So when it comes to creating a player's face and stuff like that, it looks like it's the exact same as last year, which is fine. I mean, again, it that that's fine for the most part, but Darius Garland looks trash and they better update that. And finally, I think that's a new block animation. When I was making my rarest block video, I was thinking, man, there really isn't a lot of block animations. There's like a, a face to face block. There's a behind the back block. Maybe there's a snatch block and the two hand snatch block. And that's like it. Now they have one where he spikes it downward. I guess that's pretty nice, but it definitely looks brand new. I haven't seen that one before. So there's a brand new block animation. I mean, I'm glad they're adding new stuff for other things. Like maybe they should have a new steel animation, block animation, stuff like that. I'm glad they're adding new things.
That's it for this video, you guys. Did I miss anything that you noticed? Leave it in the comments below. Are you guys excited about this 2K20? I'm actually really hyped. Sure, there's not a lot of new things, at least so far, that they've announced, but I'm always excited about the newest 2K, and it's going to be a fun one this year. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this channel, give it a sub, and I'll see you guys next time. Did you call